Well, I never looked upon the baby sexually, sir, that way. So, I don't uh, look on baby sexually either. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm very glad to hear that. Free my guys. Okay. You know how we rock it, man. 6367 six, shit, man. Uh, well, the kids are back on campus here at Ryerson University, and already political correctness is firmly into overdrive. You see the Ryerson Students Association and the Indigenous Students Association want Ryerson University to change its name and to have this statue of Egerton Ryerson replaced with something else. The problem is that back in the 1840s, Egerton Ryerson was a proponent of the universal school system, which led to the problematic residential school system for natives. What looked good on paper some 150 years ago didn't quite play out all that well in the reality ahead. So the question begs, should Ryerson rename this university something else and what should replace good old Egerton? Let's find out what the kids have to say. We're asking people about the Ryerson Students' Union and the Native uh, Student Association are actually calling on Ryerson to change its name in the removal of the Egerton Ryerson statue here because of his links to the residential school system. Would this be something that you would support, sir? Ah, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, right, eh? Yeah. Okay, then. Yeah, I'd say so. They shouldn't remove it. Should it should stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not sure. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't know much about the subject, so I don't think I can like fully prepared to answer that. I don't think I can make an informed answer. But fair enough. And sir, you're don't have an opinion. No. You're all Ryerson students, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess, but I don't know really like what's going on about that. I don't really have any opinion on it. I didn't even know that it was any sort of association. So I guess if it wanted to be changed, it doesn't really affect me in any way. Some make the argument we should leave history intact, but I guess you'd be of the belief that if it's triggering people, maybe there should be changes? Well, absolutely. I mean, like, when we think about, like, Nazi Germany, right? Like, we could just let history be intact or leave history to be history, but in that, when we leave history to be history, we don't, it seems like we don't really learn from it. Right? Although, in, in fairness, I mean, they have left uh, certain concentration camps intact for, like, a reminder, yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely. I see you got, you're a Blackhawks fan? Yeah, sorry, yeah. Hopefully they won't change that logo. Eh? Yeah. Some of the uh, the Students' Union has proposed three different statues uh, for a replacement. This one is called Listen to the Babies of Korea. It's an anti-war sentiment. This one's called Transaction. It's to show that Ryerson is a trans-friendly campus. And this one here is called the False Emperor. It's a, a naked Donald Trump. Um, which of the three would, would you vote for uh, replacing Egerton Ryerson if it came to that? I like the baby. I'd say I like Listen to the babies of Korea? Yeah, I'd say so. Like sort of strike out against the industrial military complex and I just I kinda like the baby the most, you know. Oh, okay. It's just it's just interesting. Yeah. I don't think he's masturbating. Oh, is that right because of the uh, yeah, the tank? His cock. You know, I, I, I never I, ah! is that a vote for the babies of uh, yeah, Korea? For sure, for sure. Because to you it's a it's a masturbating baby. He's like coming bullets. Yeah. Well, I never looked upon the baby sexually, sir, that way, so uh, I don't look on baby sexually either. Okay, I'm, I'm very glad to hear that. <laughs> Um, definitely this one. The false emperor, the naked Donald Trump. Okay then. Personally, I like the Donald Trump one because it's like, it's, it's like, can I just see it again? Absolutely. It's called the false emperor, kind false of like emperor. the emperor has no clothes. Yeah, it's, it brings a sense of humor and it's like kind of just obvious what's about. I don't know, I guess whatever the majority of people decide on. Oh, vote for that too. Who would you vote for then? <laughs> um, honestly, I don't know to be honest. Probably go with the most appropriate, maybe this one. Oh, uh, listen to the babies of Korea. I don't know. <laughs> it's like it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a shout out against the industrial military complex. Okay, then no, none. No, oh, none. Oh, okay. You support the industrial military complex then? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I don't. I don't know. Okay, I guess you got to think about it then, yeah, right? Yeah, for okay. sure. All right. <laughs>